mommy do wrong to me, oh mommy, oh mommy. Say they do love to me, oh mommy, oh mommy. Anything that be, I want to you, oh mommy. I go buy moto, I give it to you, oh mommy. Put up my mind. I'm a shop, I know one, no one know you been, oh mommy, oh mommy, yeah, mommy, oh mommy. Yeah, yes, yes, yo, this is your boy Revive in the building. I'm right now in my studio right now. I, yes, like I said, they let my video, my previous video I make. I said I'm going to be giving us some tutorial how to create some beat. I'm not a professional, actually, but I can give to the best of my knowledge, you know. Um, so I don't want to be selfish about my things. I'm going to be giving out the tutorial free. So if you're a producer or um, you are trying to set up a studio for your own self, a private studio, or uh, any other studio you want to set up so I'm going to be giving us some tutorial on how to start up a beat you know so just um, stay back relax and just watch as we dash into the um, music session thank you <clears throat> so um, <clears throat> before we start we have different kinds of um, uh, DAW that's the DAW uh, it's a musical software, you know, we have different kinds of uh, musical software, um, I don't know. Just um, for me, I found out uh, some some are expensive though, and some are also uh, very uh, cheap. Yeah, some are free. Yeah, I don't know how you're going to get it, but <clears throat> you can just dash to the internet and search for the one that suits you best. Um, the most popular uh, DAW the producers are using around the globe is uh, the Flutey Loop. FL Studio, but I don't know. FL Studio is a bit flexible and um, also a bit uh, complicated. Um, I don't know. Anyone anyway, that suits you best, just um, go to it and uh, download it. All are the same, actually, just a little, little different from the sound, the plugins, and all that. Good. Um, yeah, I'm using uh, the Logic Pro, the Logic Pro X. I'm using the latest version. So that's what I'm going to be using to teach you tutorial. If you are watching me right now, I don't know. But mind you, the, uh, the Logic Pro X always work on MacBook. So it's the Apple product, so it doesn't work on um, Windows uh, system. But I don't know, probably they must have um, developed some for Windows. I don't know, I, I can't really say right now. But Logic Pro X works better in um apple uh, uh, system i'm using imac so let's touch to it and the <clears throat> just wash good i i started build up a bit already so i'll just i'll just um i'll do um uh, how do i put it right now i'll do a kind of uh, rewind back you know like start the beat all over again step by step on how to sorry the sound you're gonna hear right now is my uh my new single i have not um um vibe on it actually but please if you want to learn from the beat you can also learn from the beat. My beat thank you yeah like we have here we are yeah right now the, we are in this section uh, logic pro yeah i'm gonna be taking it one after the other so that you can um you can actually grab some 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 knowledge from it so um, I will try as much as possible to be very slow so that you can um, actually know how to do it step by step so that you don't uh, miss things over. Okay, yeah, these are the, the this, is, this is the sound. I already uh, make it already, but like I said, I'm going to do it rewind back so that you can follow, follow it step by step. So we start like this. I'm going to uh, mute some setting sound, I mean orchestra, then I will tell you um, how, I, how I made the sound. But I'll play the sound for you so that you hear it and uh, you know how it sounds like. Okay, before we get into the, the uh, tutorial, like this.
said this is how um, I just uh, I made a bit already so I'm going to take it one after the other so that uh, you, you you should know how I was able to do a combination of the sound so first of all what you do is this I'll just mute all the sound first then I'll take it one after the other so you can follow yeah so like this mute all the sound like what I'm doing right now I'm muting all the orchestra that I use when I'm doing my sound, I like playing them raw so that you can be able to defend your sound. Okay, right now, you see, I, I have mute all the sound, all the orchestra right now. Like what I would advise all the young producers, um, like what I would say, or I would advise, if you are building your beat, try as much as possible to build, to build your beat from scratch. It is better. So that you can be able to um, defend your sound wherever you go. But I'm not also saying if you have um, the phone, you want to buy some sound, you want to buy some drum, drum line, like they, they are pre-sound, you can buy pre-sound like uh, the drum. You yeah, know the old sound actually, but you can buy the drum, maybe you can't beat it very well. There are some people I'll just give you step by step on how I created this simple beat. It is very, very simple. If you dedicate your time, everything in this life is all about dedication. Uh, nothing, good, nothing good comes uh, very easy. So you have to work and uh, have um, your work uh, perfectly done. You know, mind you, if you want, you don't try to say, "Oh, I want to be a professional before I can do something." I want to do this thing professionally. No, you don't need to think about it. You know, profession. There's nothing like professionalism. It's all about um, um, consistency. You know, you have to dedicate your time. You know, have this thing done. See, like right now, we are, we are going to dash on it now. Um, you don't need uh, many materials to uh, actually um, start up your um, your uh, music production. You know, just uh, start up with the little you have right now, and hope for a better tomorrow, and hope for a, I mean, something bigger tomorrow. So don't say I want to get this thing done right now. I want to do everything today, today. Sorry, guys, it's not possible. Music is something that is very wide. You know, today. Um, something new might just come out like like i'm talking now something yeah, somebody's out there preparing something new something um people unravel things every day every minute every time so it is like that so whatever level that you are right now just know that it's going to get better it's going to get better so it's like that so we're in 25th century so things are moving so very fast the world of technology is going fast everything's going fast okay yeah so let's just dash into the work then i will show you how i build this simple beat Please guys, like I said, don't steal my beat. You can use it as a tutorial because this particular beat I'm going to use right now is one of my single I am still working on. Um, by God, is going to be dropping soon, so I just want to use it to, to teach the uh, tutorials. So please, guys, let's roll it. Okay, good. <clears throat> um, yeah, I'm going to mute everything now. Uh, yeah, like this. Uh, the M, normal. The um, abbreviation for mute you know i want to mute all the sound all the plugins so that i will take it step by step on how i created a simple beat i call it simple beat because for me it is simple maybe for you i don't know probably might be so um might be a big d so for me it wasn't a big d so good um yeah if you this yellow line actually mean loop you know it actually mean loop so if you um yeah you want you you, you chris okay I will, let me not jump into a conclusion i will just take you around the trip one after the other so you get what i'm saying so first of all as a as a, as a, a music producer you you ought to know one thing is very 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 important here yeah, very very important if you are starting the music make sure that your metronome metronome it is the counter here this one right here it is the counter this one right here so is the metronome if you are going to start a bit make sure the metronome is county very very important you you make sure the, the, the metronome is counting because the metronome is the is the uh, how do i put it let me use a word to quantify what i'm trying to say right now the metronome is uh is it's kind of a timeline the kind of a timeline the timing it cue you into the timeline it, it, it tells you oh this is when you're gonna start. It tells you this is when you're gonna stop. It tells you, oh, you are out of track or you are out of beat. 
it controls everything in the music, in the um, TAW, I mean the music uh, production software. It, 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 it tells you everything on how uh, to go about it so that you will not go off track or rather off key, you know. If you forget to own this, like my metronome, if you can see here now, is um, it's, it's actually off, you know, it's off. So I own it right now. You see, I own it now, it's um, a purple. Mine is a purple color, I don't know, maybe other DOW, they have other colors, I don't know, maybe green, red, or yellow, I don't really know, but my own is purple right now, as you can see right there. Okay, good. So this yellow line you are seeing right here is the loop. Is the loop? It's the loop. A loop in the sense, maybe you create a beat. You can create a drum line like this. You make cutty, 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 cutty. And you just do it like twice. And um, actually, you want your cutty, cutty to be on the same level, on the same range, like not leaving the timeline. Because by the time you want to play cutty, cutty, like for one minute, like you are playing in, 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 in real life, just like this, you cannot actually get the first one you play before. That is why. You have to loop the first one and get the the, 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 the the timing of your drum line. So for example, right now I'm gonna off the yellow line, the loop. The loop, uh, you can use your um shortcut. The shortcut is uh, C. When I press my C, you see it go. If you press C on the keyboard, you see it, it goes. But if you don't want to use the uh what was it called? You don't want to use the um shortcut, you can just go ahead. My own is a little bit messed up right now. You can just go ahead and uh, you click it, it will go off. You know, it will go off like that. You click it again to go on. So it's like that. Or use the shortcut, you press the C. You know, but mind you, when you are doing a music version, make sure you learn all the shortcut, the shortcut keys on the keyboard so that it can keep you going and very fast on the music. So it is like that. So. I, I will urge you to learn all the shortcuts so it is very good and very important you do so that when you are bouncing on the beat or you are bouncing on the beat or rather you are trying to beat a beat or create a beat however you may quantify it it is good you have all the shortcuts so it makes you so very fast you just touch the tack 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 you are done okay that's what that's what the loop so right now I have my kick here like this kick here it is called diesel power beat um, what I do here is <clears throat> I didn't do this. I don't do this kick like originally like play with my hand. I can play with my hand actually, but the idea for this sound is different. It's different. Um, actually, there's something that can bounce for the kind of uh, song I have. Actually, there's something that can bounce with it. So this is what I did here. Um, I just come to my my pre sound. As a loop browser, come at, come to my loop browser. Then I just search on hip hop, for example. Hip hop, you you type in hip hop on your search, so you can see all the hip hop uh, sound is there for you. Like the drum, you can select the drum you want to do on your on your beat, like this, for example. Uh, you know, I have to search all over, all over, all over, you know, over, over again to get the particular one that can match with my, <clears throat> with my, the, the kind of song I want to make. So that is why I come here and search and I was able to get the one. So for you, as a beginner, you can actually, if you are a singer or you are not a singer or somebody, just uh, want to make a song with you, however it may be. Just allow the person to the song, then make sure the song you play with it in your mind, just play with it. Then know the particular drum. First of all, drum is very, very important in whatever um, in whatever uh, beat you're going to make without drum. Sorry, everything is, um, is fucked up. So for me, I always start with the drum. And if you are starting with the drum, make sure you are starting with the kick. You know, you are starting with the kick. So let me just uh, quickly... Um, Take you on uh, on a quick on a quick tour uh, on how to um, make a, a quick kick. Yeah, for example, yeah, I will just um, uh, here. You see the plus here that is here right now. This plus you can if you want to add a drum line or whatever instrument you want to add to your um, to the project. Just go on the plus, click on it. You see it display different things. 
like here it says software instrument software instrument means the instrument that comes with your DAW that comes with your DAW so you can click it to create for you you want to create audio like you want to sing right now you click this one it give you uh, a singing channel you know then here is the drum this is a pre, uh, prepare, uh, prepared drum like you're not going to play it but manually is already pre uh, prepared for you you can click on the drum so this one is called external MIDI external MIDI is um, what you uh, attach instrument you attach to the to your uh, audio interface so like here I'm using uh, Steinberg Steinberg 2 to c that's what I'm using now so um, yeah uh, we have different kinds of audio interface uh, there's um, there's a Steinberg like the one I'm having right now there's um, other one, oh sorry I'm forgetting many, many um, audio interface right now um, Apollo there's Apollo there's uh, Another one again that is very very popular. Uh, people use it very well. So I forget his name already actually. So there are many many other interviews, but right now I'm using a standby. Um so you can plug your like here you have channel that you want to plug or other instrument to you can plug other instrument to it. So that's why you have the standard MIDI or guitar or bass, you can uh, plug to it and you play it live. So however it may be, but we're not going there, uh, maybe on my next tutorial I might unveil some some certain things for you so now we are going to dash into the software instrument like the one they already prepared for us to to work with so you click on create so you just wait so it has created here right now um, <clears throat> it might not display on your own like this because I'm using um, complete control complete control is on that set of uh, instrument again that's enable you to work with some uh, DAW uh, yeah like um, the native instrument like it has or is, is we are not going there right now but just know that this is uh, actually a compatible um, I find it I find it um, um, pleasant and fun to, to, to work with so I just go for this one so that's why I assume this one right now so what I do I go up then come back again down it will display all the things you want like this uh, left side of the corner of the screen you can see it there so here if you look here right now you see drum kit this drum kit is analog if you click it you see that it's analog drum you know like a blue bed blue blue ridge brooklyn detroit garage uh, east bay for you know any other ones you have then we have liverpool as well so for example we take liverpool you see that it will change it so when you click here now you see you see it will give you the, the drum sound you know so like that so I normally use that one maybe if I want to build a Christian song a gospel song so I might normally use the so we'll go to electronic drum electronic drum sorry my own is like this because I have many uh, many other plugins that is attached to it so it's gonna display like this so I'll just go to my drum machine yeah drum machine is a very popular um, a drum drum um, drum kind of plugin all producers use so producers all about the world they use it you know if you go on youtube you see it they will tell you drum machine so you just go on drum machine my own is i'm having two because i downloaded that uh, set of drum uh, to it so i have many kind of drum so we'll take the first one which is here not the gb we we'll take the drum machine here so mind you when you click something like that you you'll find out many many things like this yeah so if you click it it will give you Another kind of drum, you see that this layer changes to electronic drum. So you see the way it's sounding. So it's no longer the way it sounds like the um, like the analog drum. So then if you go into this one, the drum machine GB, here you have more, like more. Look at it now. This is what the uh, our producers are using, like they always use the trap door. The trap door have this powerful uh, kick that gives you this bu 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 sound that you hear in every uh, producer's um, um, uh, kitchen so you have this bu 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 because it is powered by by a trapdoor so it's like this you hear the, the, the trapdoor the, 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 the kick is very very different from every other kick hear it hear it so it makes bu 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 so yeah but now we're not going to use trapdoor 
we're not be using trap door. I'll use beat machine GB to uh, give you this rundown, this tutorial. So I click on the GB right now. You hear the the, the, the the kick is also very heavy. In fact, heavier than the, the trap door. You hear it. So like this. So um, for example, I want to play something like I want to play, I want to play, um, I want to play a kind of a, a kind of hip hop drum. So yeah. So like that, like that. So good. That's if you want to play it live, like I said. So we should not jump into, um, we should not uh, jump, skip some parts. So I just want to give you some rundown of if you want to do your drum line by yourself. So, so there are many ways to play your drum. If you like, you can play it live. If you want to play it live, you can go to the uh, the, uh, the um, loop browser and search for any drum preset drum you can use. So, so you can use it depends on how you want it. So it's like that. So I'll just go ahead and delete this one. You know, just click on your delete on your keyboard to to vanish. Sorry. Yeah, it's vanish. Also good. So now, like my honey has already been pre um, preset. So uh, yeah, I'll just unmute this one. Yeah, I will unmute this one. So mind you, if you pick your drum, if you pick your drum like that, pick it from here from your loop browser, for example. I just do loop browser. Uh, okay, loop browser is already open. And now your session, uh, diesel, diesel power. Okay, look, it's already out. I use the diesel power B2, which is this one. You have to click on it and hear it if you want it. So that's the kick I use. Just pick and drag it and drop it. It's simple as that. You don't need to uh, have any other tools about it. You drag it and drop it. Then you, if you want to play any song, any, anything from your DW, just click on the space, uh, the space key or the space button. So it, it, it will start going. So like I would like that. See it, 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 it um, the, the, the sound plays to some certain end and the, the thing went off. So because you didn't loop it, that is where this yellow line, the loop I earlier explained, we work for you. So if you want to loop any song, the loop is normal. You know, with your shortcut, just go on and press the L button. You see that the loop is not very long. So be playing without stopping like that. So like that is playing and on and on. So if maybe you have alternative, like you want to, you want to do a trap, a trap beat, you know, you want to do a trap beat of more than like two, three kicks. So you can maybe the singer will just do the song, do bo -bo 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 -bo, we, we we vibe to some certain place. Then you have to know oh this place have to have a bridge. You have a bridge on it, then you bridge it, then you come to another kick again. You can go there and search on that kick. Okay. So if you want to do use the same kick, you just let it roll. Okay, like my own, I didn't use one kick. I used, uh, I think, um, like two kicks. Yeah, I used two kicks. So we, I already have it. For example, so that's why I'm deleting it right now. So now, now I want to on, um, play my own that I did follow. Okay, good. If a singer is right here right now or somebody want to vibe on the song when you have your drum line already i think the song is already bouncing and it's going you go like that like that and so on and so forth so it's already bouncing and uh, yeah um first of all like i said before the most important thing on drum on uh, on a music is the drum line when you have the drum line bouncing for you it is finished it is done like when you have the when you have the drum line already the, 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 what's it called? You have the drum line already. The song is already bouncing for you. You know, you don't, you don't need other uh, orchestra to add to it. Just, first of all, get the drum line, get everything uh, pumping and, you know, on your way. So if any music, any um, musical artist jump into your studio and I hear some beat, 
something is something I'm I'm catching something from this uh, uh, particular vibe that you're playing right now. You know, before you know it, the singer will get something on his head and like, oh, this one is working for me. So that's that. First of all, your kick is very very important. Your kick, your kick, your kick, very very important. The first thing and nothing. So um, yeah, so um, good. Like now, I brought the kick. Sorry guys, the way I do my production is very different. Like I'm, a, like I always said, I'm a producer with different. Uh, when I'm, if I'm doing my beat, I don't add my strings. My strings is is I don't know. It's a no good for me. I have to add my strings so that. My string is like the reason why I always put string. I can decide to remove it later. The reason why I add strings to my to my beats this the strings allow the artist to move in so very smoothly, you know, so very smoothly. Like you know, it will just swing it to the beat very smooth and without having any stress. You know, the beat can even give you some 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 freaking melody like oh. Something sweet is coming to my head. Something sweet. So that's why I always use my strings. I don't do it at it. You know, some producer will say they will condemn now. I don't know about that producer, but for me, I use it. It's working for me. So for me, I will advise you as a beginner, stay with what is working for you. Don't listen to what people are. They, definitely in this industry, there are many criticisms. So it's like that. So don't give ear to criticism. Just keep doing your, your good job. So by the end of the day, I believe God will definitely give you a, a good start on the you have a hair up. Okay, <clears throat> like I said, don't listen to what people are saying. Just keep doing your stuff on. Okay, go. Like this, I always have my way, I have, I have a way of doing my beat, so I use the strings, you know. You're looking for strings, it's not very difficult. Just come to this place, type in your strings. It's just the DOW is, pre is being prepared for you to use, to command. It is just to command, not the DAW commanding you, so you command, just type in the commanding word, you see, everything will pop up. So whatever you want to hear, whatever you want to play, whatever beat you want to play on, you know, just have fun, it's all about fun, and uh, trans, try, try and just play around with it, then you know the orchestra you want that suits you better. So that is why production takes time, you know. The orchestra you really want, if it's not fitting that particular beat, remove, replace, remove, replace, it's like that, until you get a particular one that's working for you. So like that so i go i all normally use smooth and gentle like just like just tap it there like smooth and gentle very simple smooth and gentle is already hard you look at it what i'm saying you just pick and the change it's like that so i'm not going to do anything to it i've already done it so like this we go smooth then the sound start playing right now let me unloop it so I'll just start from here. Now this is what I did. Okay, let's see the first part. Sorry, that's one that there's another stomach block as well that can always stop a producer, but I don't think it's uh, it's a big deal, you know, because we are living in the digital world. If you don't know how to play this piano, it's also very difficult, a bit difficult, so it means you have to be working with preset sound, like doing trap, hip hop, you can do it some sound sound that, that is being preset for you. It's already um the sound is already inside, just add one or two things together, then you have your beat done. So that is if you cannot play piano, but if you can play the piano, it is very easy for you. You know the surface to hit. So like me, let's hear the sound again. So I just did my, I just I did my, my la, my sol, my la, my sol, my sol, you know, two key, like that. So I get my, my, my uh, stuff I'm looking for, so like this. So I just did my la, my so, my la, my so, my la, my so. So this is the la, this is so. So 
actually did it so two times. So I'll play it so that you can hear it so that you understand what I'm talking about. So like this. So the same thing as you're hearing, I'm just hearing from the other one I did before. So I got my I got my strings. It's bubbly for me right now, so so I have to loop it. The head, don't forget, because I want it to be going like in fact to the end of the song. So I want the strings to be on that to to give me this on that um, on that grand work. So, so if you are a musician and you're, you you a musician like you, you you come into my studio right now, I have not done anything, just the drum and the strings. You already know that oh this beat is already complete. All you need to do is just make your music going and all that. So like that is like that. So good. Then I did that, and don't forget if you want to hear the boo, 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 like what is training right now, you have to make sure all your your drum line, your play around with your drum, play around with your bars is very important. You do add one or two things together to get it bouncing for you, you know. I will just on my next tutorial, if I cannot take everything today, I'll just I'll do it on my next tutorial so that you know how to just at least touch some areas on on uh, your instrument to make it heavy. You know, to make it heavy so that you can be hearing the so that you know people love it. Then I make sure whatever bit you're doing, the bars must be there. Just like you are you you are going for a concert, the guitarist is just there playing guitar thing, you know, something like that and something's not backing though, there's no drums, no bass, you know. Same if you are to do um a cappella or intro or something, I don't know. So for me, I believe the drum, the bass, they can't do without each other. So it's like that. So when I get my strings ready, my strings is bouncing already. So the next thing that I do is I take my bars. My bars is very, very important for me. Yeah. So the bars I always use, I use this soft synthetic bars. It is very, very heavy. Soft synthetic bars is very, very heavy. I believe all um, DAW, they have it. They should have it. You know, they should have it because this bars is very very heavy but don't really rely on it like oh you want it, you just want to use the natural bars you know you can also play around it to make it heavy for you maybe you want to hear the things yeah and also know how to play around bars like you know like that like that and so on and so forth so i got my strings ready i got my drum ready so everything is bouncing for me so the next thing i need right now is my bars my bars have to come in so I just hit it, then here is the bass and the way sound. I can because I did the beat because you don't expect me to have everything in my head like that because this beat it comes sometimes with inspiration because I am also the owner of the beat and it's my song as well so I was trying to get something that can go along with the with the with the song you know sorry I cannot do the song for you right now because this is private stuff when it comes out you go to my YouTube channel you subscribe you see it there so good like I said now I just did something you see it. Very easy and very simple, like, just like the strings, you know, I have to make it go on on top, under the string, sorry. So now I just did something like this, um, yeah, let's hear it. Around. 
that's how I got the bass line. The bass line was set and done. So let's hear it so that you know that there's nothing different in what I just played. stop I'm simply in it follows so I got my bass line then I also want the bass line to play to the end of the song it depends on how you want your song so maybe I'm doing this song for somebody for an artist he might not like it like he might give, you, he might give me some idea like oh bro I want this bass line to play to some certain stage and you have to stop and you have to play to in song you can have more than three bass lines so it depends on how you work with the artist so I want this bass line to play to infinity because something is going to be bouncing. This this the 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 the, 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 the this this song is um it's a dancing song. It's a dancing song. I actually, I actually um want to want to do this personally um like my 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 father Michael Jackson recipes. So I want to do it like that like that and I have a dance. I'm also a dancer as well. So I dance and I I do music. So. I guess something like that. I said, I just want to, I don't want to change the drum, the, the bass line, I just want the bass line to be under it and be going, give me the good, the good, you know, just be bouncing along it. So that's how I got the bass line like that. Yeah. So now I got my, everything is complete right now. It's uh, like this, you can actually vibe on the song you can actually do a song as a perfect song on the beat without having any problem at all whatsoever you know after the song is set and done you can actually come back and do some touching like putting your seasonings you know to make it sweet spice it up like that so for me i just believe right about now it is done it is set and done as well the thing is dope and it's sounding very clear in my ear and uh, I can get something from it like oh, you know so like that is going to bounce for me so this is next thing I did I said oh what am I going to do right now should I just um, should I just um, leave it like that or do something more um, Something more like, how do I put it right now? Something different, you know? But I actually like guitar reads, so I like my guitar, so I don't know. Uh, I don't buy guitar plugins, so I will not lie to you. There's a way I do my guitar, You, lo it, it looks like, it looks as if um, somebody's playing it from the background, so I have my way of doing it, so I just play around with it a little bit and have it tune like i can make guitar tune like it will look as if somebody's playing it like uh, michael jackson guitarist is playing guitar on stage or something like that i can touch it touch it and so i, I make it so the taste i really want it to be so it's like that so what am i saying in a sense whatever orchestra you put on your dw you try and play around with it a little have it more um suitable for your the kind of song you want or for your artists because some artists they are very um they're very sensitive you know they are free thinkers they will tell you oh bro this thing didn't work well so my won't attack you oh bro what are you playing what are you playing? you know something like that so that is why you have to make it more powerful you know when you are doing a beat for your um for your artist something like that you should have something quality to give so it's reciprocal you know you give you know after you pay for this job you know you have to make a good job so right about now, I did my, I like my acoustic guitar, I won't lie to you, acoustic guitar is very, 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 very unique and superb in any orchestra. So I like my acoustic guitar, I can also play it live, you know, I play guitar live. So the thing is this, I like the sound of it, I like the sound of it, I was like, oh, what am I going to put, I was thinking, what kind of um, orchestra will I bring now? I'm done with piano and all that, it's okay, good. Let me, let me, let me add a guitar, so I added my guitar, just, just look at the way it's going to sound right now, you know?
you know, like I play everything raw, so there's no artificial, there's nothing about it. I didn't borrow anything from anybody. I play everything like, oh wow, you know, it's very easy. It's very simple. So I did something like this, I did something like this, like, like this right now. I was just thinking of what to play, you know. I was just playing around to have it bounce on my on my song or my sound, however you may call it. So I just have it bounce a little bit, you know, a little bit bounce, bounce, bounce. So this is this what you have. This what you have. Then I, I loop it. So it's very simple and easy like that, you know. So I allow it bounce like just be free and to music is not thing, I, I, I don't know it's maybe because I can do it it's not thing, it's nothing hard it's all about education I'm just talking about those who want to embark on music journey so it's very easy you know get this thing done because music is spiritual you have to allow it flow through your body first it's like a current I like flow you know don't just go into music and start you know pa 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 it doesn't work like that allow the music flow into your vein before you can embark on so be crazy about it, be worried about it, you know, be like a lion. So now I got my guitar. I used to guitar in this particular uh, beat. I use the acoustic guitar and I use the electrical guitar, which is called clean guitar, you know. So, but first thing and first of all, I use, I play something, 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 something very, very different here. If you can see here, electric buzz, I like it. It's very, very looks like an, it looks like an effect you know it look an effect but it is actually not an effect so it is it is it is orchestra on its own so I like it the way it sound you know I was like oh what am I going to add to the guitar because I used two guitar I was using I used the clean I mean the clean electrical guitar and the acoustic but the combination of the two was not okay for me I was like oh what do I do I needed something to add to it so that I can have some, some, some melody bouncing for me. So let's hear it like the electrical boost. You know, I just did. You know, that's what he had. So I just I was like, oh, I needed something to. I wanted to look like more like a Michael Jackson. You know, more like. Um, something like that so i just i have this um i have this sense of humor like i can hear your sound and i might not do it the way you did it but i might do it more better or so i just said let me use the word so i just i had it i i had this idea of um um all i want to say is that they don't really care about something like that i had it from i had it uh, in my heart i want to do something like that then i also pick from uh, this particular one, uh, he did. Um, you knock me down on my feet now, baby. Woo! Something like that. So I wanted to combine the two together to have my, my, um, what's it called? To have kind of a professional job. So these two beats were coming from my, coming to my head. All I wanna say is that, you know, So I have to twist it, you know, twist it to have something more like Michael just a Wako Jacko. So something like that, so I got it. You know, it's very simple, it's very simple, easy as that, and you see all the songs. Everything is complete in, in, in the trick of an eye. You have all the sound, everything complete for you, so you don't need to, you 
know, go and buy some tutorials before you can get you can get your music bouncing for you. Very easy, simple. So that's that's it for you. And then I always do something in my song. I always leave a footprint. You know, if you are listening to my classic song, you yeah. Woo! Okay. Okay. Yeah, I always put it in my mind. Any of my song, like I leave a footprint, like. Oh, people will know that, oh, this guy, over vibe, did his, did the beat and all that. So everybody, all producer, they do it. So this is my style. I always had it. I might not bring my, my, my name and like, oh, it's over vibe on the beat. No, I might not bring it, but I will, I will always uh, leave something behind. You know, leave, I must leave something behind. So. I just leave it to, to bring me in. Then I use uh, this our uh, trending um, what's it called? A, eh, you know, I add it to it so that it can have a little. I'm mean, gonna remove it at the end of the day because I just want it to be like a pure R and B, nothing more like nothing more than R and B stuff. So I just want it to be pure R and B. I want to change so I want to make it up for whatever. I want to make it up for pop. I just want to make R and B. You know, R and B that actually sound like pop. So that's what I'm making right now. So then I brought this A, this is our trendy hair everything from Afro, Afro what? Yeah, yeah, very fast. So far so good. My beat is already almost ready, like almost ready. I'm almost done. Like I don't have any other thing to put to add to it to make it um ballsy, to make it more uh fun. What I do is when I am done, I am satisfied with my sound, I just I like to I don't put more, put more because but I don't want to put more, you want to add this, you want to add that. You see that you because too much cooking is bad. You know, just like you are making the soup and you add sugar, you add margin on it, you add different type of seasonings, you add your ginger, you add everything to it. You know, you see that you know had many many more inside the soup, uh, fish, our body, however you may, you, may, you may think of. So the soup will not sop up. You know, like a sour soup because why the spices are too much. Sometimes let's be contented with we, what we are doing now, rather what we have. Just be connected with that little one you just did. Give it to the world. Let them hear. It. Let the world be the judge. Like, oh, bro, what you dropped yesterday was good. It was not good. Yeah, everybody are entitled to his own opinion. So you don't have to wait to make it like Quincy, Quincy a bit, or Michael Jansi, Wako Jaco. No, you don't need to wait. You know, just be first of all, just be contented with what you did and let it flow. You know, just drop it out there. Let people criticize you. It is good. Criticism is not is not actually an abuse. It is something that have to do with elevation. You know, when you when somebody criticizes you, it's actually tell you, bro, you have to elevate yourself. You are on a lower ground. Elevate yourself to the next level. So it's like that. So if anybody not criticizes you, like, oh, what you did is good, is not good, something like that, you would think you are the king. You are the king of pop, king of Arabi, king of uh, hip hop, king of Afro. No. So but let people criticize you, like, oh. Bro, what you did now is bad, it's not so good, you have to um you have to increase your, your craft, you know, like that. You say, Oh bro, thank you. I mind you when your fans are telling you what you are doing, it's not good, don't insult them, don't feel bad. It's like that. It must come from the industry, they must tell you once you even if your song is good, they must tell you because we all look but we see differently. I remember the word they are your mirror, so you cannot Tell yourself you are the best dancer. We that are watching will tell you, oh, you are good, you are a good dancer, you can dance very well. So it's like that. You have to dance for the world to see and know that you are really, really a dancer. So it's like that. What I'm asking in a sense, don't wait to add many spices. Like you can see my base already bouncing and running for me. So for me, I'm okay. I can vibe on it and have it going for me. The next tutorial I will teach on how to sing with that auto to me because I really don't like using auto because why? When I mount up the stage, for example, when I'm in a concert, I should be able to defend the kind of voice I'm carrying. 
So I don't need to rely on machine to keep, to keep me bubble. So that is why I really don't advise that. But I have it. I can give it to you. Like, you know, give it to you very, very, very much. But the truth is, I always say it because I'm a musical director. So I will tell you the truth, nothing but the truth. If you are this kind of artist that depend on auto-tune, it is good if it's working for you. But for me, I will tell you this, try and weigh the both sides, you know, try this side as well and see. Don't allow people to tell you, don't allow, allow your producer to tell you, oh, your voice is not good. No, if you, the voice is, you do, you do a song like this, for example, let the producer touch your voice very well. You see that you have this natural, natural essence you are looking for. So it's not um, every time, oh, bro, hard me, auto-tune, hard me, dad, no. It means you don't trust yourself, you are auto-tune dependent. So it's like it's somebody who is drop dependent, like drug dependent somebody. So you have to step up your game. So, <clears throat> like I was saying, now the sun is done and said and done. I can bounce on it like from now. So this is what I did from here. We have uh, like the time we have in my 57 seconds, 57 seconds of the, you can see the time like there, the timing there, 57 seconds of my, of my uh, song or sound. I change the game like I said before you can use two drum you can use three drum bars or whatever it depends on the music you want to drop that's why I see some song they will, they will go like Michael Johnson you don't baby and I don't mind. so like that you know you know so it comes to that yo ahoo you drop them something like that so yeah, I learned from him very well. So I I do all this I did all this combination in this particular song like oh let's dance. You know something like that. So it depends on the song you want to do. So in my 57 seconds of the song or the sound, I changed my rhythm and I apply something called this live cinematic beat. Oh this if you hear this thing is wow, it's it's bomb. It's bomb man, it's bomb man. So I found it found it I was like very, very amazed with the sound so I just added it then added some some um some effect to it then just hear it just hear it so what you hear is this Mac just a snapping of his finger pa you know pa pa something like that so something like that you know, let's go. You know? Oh my God. So now, I actually use two drum. I use this live beat one. This live between you can see is there. It's also your DOW if you're looking for it. So I hear something like now let the dancing begins. So now, like I said earlier, this beat is going to be bomb. Like this, this song is gonna be dope. Just watch out for a revive. Bringing up this song to you guys. So just watch out for this song. It's gonna be bomb, man. Everybody gonna be on it. Dancers are gonna be on it, bro. So it's gonna be lit. So then I drop something like this, like this, you know, like this, then I like flow. Now just listen, just listen very carefully. But the dance can begin. You know? Kind of I don't want to leave the camera what I've just done for you now to see so. You can see the drum line changes already automatically. So here now the dancing will come. So now, now I got everything set for me and everything bubbling and bouncing for me. So. This is it, this is it, this is it. Now everything is done and I don't need to add anything to my plugins, I don't need to add anything to it, you can play. 
What am I saying? In essence, you can play your live instrument orchestra. You play everything so that they can fit into the kind of song you want to do. So I don't really advise producers to bring something from the DAW and start popping it, you know, for me because it is also good you can use it as a beginner, but for me it is good you play things your own way, have the voice, the vocal, everything ready for you, have the rightful key for the for the rightful um sorry, have the rightful key for the song. Maybe the singer is singing on F, you wanna be bringing some song from the DW that have to do with C key. So you see that they have different trouble will be there. So please guys if you are watching me right now stay tuned this is a vibe i'm gonna bring you more tutorials on how to make a simple beat this is i call it simple beat i don't know for you it might be hard for you i don't know but for me it's very simple simple as it, as it is just have something bubbling in your brain in your memory then drop the beat it's like that so you have everything um said and done for you so it's like that so um yeah like i said don't forget your metronome you have to alight you have the light um, pumping on the background, so the metronome that you that is one thing you shouldn't forget. It is like this. Here it now be clicking. So here it ka 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 Please guys, if you forget to put this metronome, it means your song, your beat, everything is fucked up. It's fucked up because people will be singing out of line before you know it. So it's like that. So the next tutorial, I'll be teaching you on how to set up your orchestra frequency, like how you put them into place, how to play around them and have your orchestra sound extra different for you. You can pick one of the orchestra from uh, your DW, just place it on your channel here. Then there's a way you're gonna mess around with it. You mess around with it, and you have a different sonatade. You know, you have your your vibe going for you without having stress and lapses or so ever. So what am I saying is this? I'll teach you on how to go on it. So just keep following, and you will keep getting the free tutorials. You know, everything free, man. So stay tuned. I love you guys. I'm gonna be calling it a day here. So you would meet again, I don't know, maybe next week, maybe it depends on how I am able to come out again and do something like this next time because I cannot predict the time. Time is money and time is fast spent. Every day, every minute you spend in life is going poo 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 poo. So keep your beat pumping. I just believe you grab something from what I um, today. I, my tutorials, my uh, my simple beat. I just hope you got something going on for you. So please don't touch the die. Just keep watching the revive. I'll keep bringing you all the stuff you need to see and you need to hear from the studio of O Revive. One love. I love you guys. Have fun. <laughs>